Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and I'm back with another review today. Now we're going to take a look at this Auto Art Lamborghini Gallardo GT3 FL2. Uh, now this was one of the, in the first group of composite models that came out of Auto Art. Um, now note the little sticker here that says, with opening doors. Uh, this was the start of the new trend of Auto Art making models now with only opening doors. Uh, and a lot less detail and this model was around the same price as the previous full die cast, full opening auto art model. So uh, nevertheless it is still a, a, a pretty cool model uh, and for the Lamborghini collectors um, I think it's a must for the collection. So we'll get this out of the box uh, and we'll have a closer look at this auto art composite model. Okay guys so here we have the uh, auto art Lamborghini Gallardo GT3 FL2. Now as I mentioned this is a composite model uh, and it does only have opening doors uh, but nonetheless it's probably one of the most aggressive Lamborghini Gallardos that you could possibly have a model of. Uh, obviously it's a race car, it's in full race trim uh, with all the racing aerodynamic bodywork uh, and this came in a few colours as well. I chose this white. I think it looks um, looks quite good in the white finish. Um, and it's nice to have an opening model, um, considering all the high-end resin models uh, are sealed models. So anyway, we'll start with the front of the model. Um, as it is an auto art model, it does have perforated mesh in all the grille openings. Um, you do have this large splitter and carbon fibre canards. Um, it's just a plastic with a, a carbon fibre texture to it, um, but the simulation is quite good there. It does look realistic. Uh, headlight detail is pretty good. Um, windscreen wiper is a little bit chunky. It's a plastic piece. Um, a lot of other models use photo etched metal for the, the wipers, but I guess, you know, this is a $190 model, um, so it is what it is. Um, you, you've also got some perforated mesh in the side intakes here, uh, also in the back of the car, and this large engine cover has all uh, mesh in it also, as you can see through there. So overall, the appearance is pretty good. Uh, the wheels are replicated really quite well. Uh, they are steerable. It is connected to the steering wheel inside, as with most auto art models. Um, you've got some nice little Oz Racing decals on the wheels. Of course you've got the Pirelli tyre riding on the tyres, brake calipers, brake rotors, detailed quite well for an auto art. Um, you've got the roof scoop on here as well. You've just got moulded plastic uh, bonnet latches. Um, you've also got those on the engine cover there also. Uh, the large wing has a carbon fibre pattern to it as well with the Lamborghini decal. Uh, and the the wing legs are quite chunky as well, but I, I've had a look at photos of the real car and it looks the same. They're quite chunky. Um, you've also got the little uh, metal air jack valve sticking out of the back. Uh, brake lights are detailed quite well. Uh, and you've also got your rain light in the centre also. Um, now, the model does roll somewhat. The front wheels roll um, and that back wheel just rolls but this one doesn't on this side. For some reason, uh, it's just stiff. Anyway, it's not a toy. Uh, I don't push them around on the floor, so that's not a big deal. Um, you've obviously got your race style windows in here with a little slider window. window. Uh, they don't move, they're just fixed. You've got this delicate little uh, communications aerial on the roof. Um, but overall, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool uh, looking model from AutoArt. As I say, it does come in quite a few colours, so um, I just chose a white because I try and have a different colour um, car of all the variations of one model. So as I said, this is an opening model. Um, now again, with these composite models, the shut lines are very tight and it's very hard to get a pick or something in there. Um, so I just end up opening the doors by the mirror. Now that didn't really work that side. This side did, I can open that one with the mirror, but this one on this side is a little bit tougher. Um, so I'll just poke my finger through there, open it up. Um, 
that's one thing I guess we can't complain about the composite models uh, is the panel lines or the shut lines on the doors um, but it is quite difficult uh, and you are risking damaging the model trying to open them so there is a plus and a minus for the composite models uh, the weight of this one's not too bad they do have a die cast um, chassis underneath and the, just the body is composite um, some of them are much lighter but this, this one actually does have quite a bit of weight to it uh, a little bit more weight in the front so I'd say they've probably got a, me a metal weight in here just to make the model feel a bit heavier uh, but this is one of the heavier uh, composite models from AutoArt anyway so the detail is pretty good inside as I say it is a race car uh, so you've got your racing steering wheel, your roll cage, uh, you've got your centre console with all the switches in the middle of it, one racing bucket. Uh, in the passenger side, uh, we've got the big ice chest for the cooling. Uh, you've got some cables running from the front to the back. Uh, and there's also a fire extinguisher tucked in the front here under the dashboard as well, or an onboard fire system. Uh, and these cars were actually uh, developed by Rita Engineering. Uh, you can see that on the side of the seat there. Uh, and they've also produced racing cars of the Lamborghini Murcielago. Uh, and they're really, really quite cool. So as I say, only has opening doors. There's no access to the engine. There's no access under the front hood. Um, so... The, the problem I have with these models is that the, the previous Lamborghini uh, Gallardo Super Trofeo was a full die-cast model with full opening parts. Now that had full engine detail, carpeted under the, the front hood, uh, and they were the same price. Now AutoArt said that the direction to move to composite was to reduce the price of models for collectors. Well, I just don't see that happening. I, I see that these models are selling for exactly the same price uh, as the older die-cast models. So I question AutoArt there in regards to their statement about producing cheaper models. Maybe these are cheaper to produce, uh, which just means that uh, their profit margins are much higher on these models. Um, so look, if you guys have any comments on that, leave the comments below. I'd love to know what you feel about the uh, composite models that AutoArt are producing now um, but anyway we'll stick to the, uh, the focus uh, it does have just a sort of a carbon fibre pattern underneath uh, and you've got the markings of the model uh, and, that's, and you can see a little bit of the rear diffuser also there uh, but basically these are race cars so the underside is just perfectly flat Anyway, uh, I hope that's uh, given you a closer look at this AutoArt Lamborghini Gallardo GT3 FL2. Uh, I do like this model, but I think it's really probably only worth around $150, not $192, being that we've got no engine detail. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, please smash the like button um, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos on my channel. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.